Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text loss video with a brand new Moto Z2 Play. Now we do the setup, we got our nano sim card, we insert it, we start the device, we do the setup, then we have a quick look around, how good is the display quality, we get an AMOLED display. First impression of the camera, uh, which apps are pre-installed, how much free storage of the 64 gigabyte we still got. Our sim card tray is on top, takes the sim card tray opening tool and push it in and then pull the tray out. Ooh, and look at that. This is here, a normal SIM card opening tool, which does not fit into the Moto Z2 Play. So you really have to get the official SIM card tray of the, of, from, from Moto Roller. Sort of and yes, this is definitely, whoa, this is tiny. And insert it and pull the tray out. And there we go. So we got space for SIM as the SD card and SIM card one and SIM card two. So we take this first SIM card slot, um, make sure this chip is still viewable, then slide it back in, and there we go. So the on-off button is on the right side. Push it, push it, keep pushing it. Still, whoa. <laughs> And this, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the vibration was heavy and the display looks nice. You definitely can tell this is a bright display. Okay, maybe it's at 100% while booting. Then first step, choose your language and let's go. So. Welcome to the Moto Z2 Play. Copy data set up as new device. This is nice because uh, if you see that's the first, first glance so uh, that you can transfer your data, but I say no, please as my first device or as a new device, then we connect to our Wi-Fi at home. Then you have to accept the Moto agreement and then you have to sign in with your Google account. Type in your email and password. Then comes the question, if you want to unlock the device with a fingerprint and I say yes, add a fingerprint, please, you have to set up another uh, secure measurement beside your fingerprint, so pattern, pin or password, I choose pin. Uh, does a pin is required for the, for, to the if you start restart the device, I say no thank you. Uh, then I choose my pin, one, two, three, four, continue, confirm the pin, one, two, three, four, and you are done. Locate the fingerprint sensor on the front, hit next, and then, okay, again next, let's start. Put your finger on the sensor and after the vibration, lift it. Uh, slightly move the finger around and place other parts of your finger on the scanner. So move it and make sure that you scan the tip, that you can scan the sides of your fingers. Fingerprint added and I love it. Yes, Moto is asking me if I want to add another one. Yes, please, as always, I also want to scan the finger or at least one finger of my other hand, just in terms I'm switching uh, the device in my hand or so. So both fingerprints uh, are, are secured. Fingerprints got it, okay. Now is the question, do you want to use Google services? You can choose each select uh, one by one or select or deselect them, then hit next. Then there's a question, do you want to use the Google Assistant? I say yes. Here are the things the Google Assistant can do for you with you and or for you. <laughs> and then or you can also have to choose uh, which do you permissions do you want to give or not? And I still say yes, I'm in. Teach the assistant to recognize your voice. So let's get started. I just skip it, but you have to say three times the activation phrase. And then it's the question, do you want to use trusted voice? So even if the device is turned off, do you want to be able to use the Google Assistant by saying the magic words? I say just yes. Confirm pin. Anything else, you can now add another email account, review apps, control lock screen. I don't want to do this now, I just want to go to the home screen. Ooh, and there we go, give Moto permission to help you. Yee. Yes, I'm in, no thanks. Uh, so, does do you want uh, Motorola to be able to communicate with you, send you newsletters and stuff, or no? And yes, you have to do this, you can decide this by your own. 
Uh, discover Moto apps. Allow Moto to make a recommendation on new apps and interests. Uh, you can skip this one. I just say continue because, oh yes, this is the point where you can now choose apps that will be pre-installed or that will be downloaded. Maybe for Spotify it's great, maybe for Kindle, but there is also a lot of advertisement I guess around. So I just say finish, no apps, thank you very much. And we are in the home screen and this looks stunning. Oh, not stunning, but this looks great. This is definitely a nice display. First thing I will now do is turn up the brightness. So, ooh, there's a lot of room and, ooh, nice. Let's uh, just open up a, a wide background so that I can see how many reflections we got. And uh, yes, okay. you can definitely see if you look from the side by, by the way the colors are a little bit moving or switching, uh, that's an AMOLED display. But also if I can now see the reflections, this device or the brightness level should be sufficient to, to uh, for a lot of, for a lot of, things or at least I think it for now and you can see we got on-screen buttons this you can change if you don't want to use the on-screen buttons because if you got on-screen buttons you can't use the home the fingerprint sensor as a home button therefore you have to go into the motor app and in the motor app you can do a lot of changes you have the motor actions you got the motor display you got the motor voice thingy yes got it and um, um, I didn't have to give Moto my contact information now, but ah, so now we got the Moto actions, we got the Moto screen. Uh, I just take the Moto, no, where are the Moto actions? Now it's again, there we go. There, there we go. There you got not only swipe to sh shrink screen, so you get one hand uh, control about the display that you can small on the display that you can see let's see where is it uh, that you just swipe and you get this you get the display uh, a little bit smaller so that you can reach the upper half of apps or the touch bar on top or the bar on top with what just one hand with your thumb for example so show me let's practice i already did it. yes black again turn it on and that's it but you can also uh, where is now the home button? One button navigation. So the, look, look at that, how much screen real estate you get if you just, uh, if you activate it or if you deactivate it. I will now, again, you can see it gets the tour. Uh, try below for, yes, tab it. Okay, great. Next, uh, swipe right to left and left to right for the things and now Okay, cancel. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Now I got swipe left to right for the app switcher and right to left for for getting going back. Now let's check out how much free storage we got on the device. Uh, storage, there we go. Out of our 64 gigabytes, 14.72 you are used. This should be now that we got around 50 gigabytes of available storage which should be nice, but the device is not calculating and still thinking about it. So, so just say 50 gigabytes are still available for whatever we want to do. Now, let's see which apps are pre-installed. And this looks like, almost like a Google Pixel device because Moto is as always using nearly when in an Android on those devices. Uh, we got some phone, phone app calculator, no, we got the Moto Mods app, we got the Moto app. Uh, we got the SIM card toolkit and otherwise we just got the normal pre-installed Google Apps. The device looks fast or feels fast for the first step. Oh, there we go. We got the Google Now thingy as well. This is nice for people who really like Android, uh, vanilla Android. The, the Moto devices as always are a nice thing to consider buying. So let's start activating the camera by shaking it. Uh, do I want to use uh, GPS? Yes, I want GPS for my pictures. Now I have to check it again. Quick capture. Yes, I want to be able to use it. Scanning. Okay, now we got shutter sound. If I want to use quick capture, twist open. Yes, photo size. So four by three is for the four full photo size. Video size is rear and there we go. Ultra 4K. This is the thing I want to get. We don't get uh, OIS on the device, but now Let's take some pics here, uh, which runs really smoothly here. 
first impressions. This was quick. Now let's deactivate HD, uh, HDR on, on. How much time? Yes, there we go. This is a normal, a little bit longer than normal to, to save an HDR pic, picture. Maybe it's because of the Snapdragon 626, which is of course not a Snapdragon 821 or an 835. Um, but but still, uh, most people still use it only on, on, on auto settings for HDR. Now let's look at our pictures. So I didn't, for the first time, if you want to use a fingerprint sensor, you have to insert your pin. So, ooh. Nice pic, nice picture quality. This this picture is a three one I just took with with the HDR feature. It looked really really nice, nice nice nice. Oh, this is also a nice first impression picture. Okay, uh, let's let's do the front side facing camera. Mm. Oh, there we go. Mm. And one thing I wanted to check out because let's see on. Yes, we got a front facing flashlight. This is neat. Uh, let's switch over to, to uh, the video mode and check out uh, check out the 4K video and of course the missing of the OIS, so no optical image stabilization. Do I will notice it or not? So let's see. Video and of course the missing of the OIS, so no optical image stabilization. Do I will notice it or you and of course the missing of the OIS, um, no optical image stabilization. Do and will notice it or you and of course. Okay, first impression, nice. But you definitely one thing I didn't notice: we don't get any other speakers. So you get only one speaker on the device. The normal headphones, the normal phone speakers, also our main speaker. If you turn the device uh, loud, uh, got a little. I don't know, it's, it's the recording quality or the speaker quality, a little noisy here and there, but picture quality was nice first impression. So now let's take, check out the fingerprint sensor, which worked nice. Okay, we got a hard vibration here. Other thumb, yes, works. And the finger we didn't scan, does not work. Okay, nice, definitely nice. So first impression until now or first impression is just oh but of course if you are not satisfied with the speaker quality you just took the, the JBL speaker sound boost on which is included uh, yes I accept it uh, I don't download now the app now let's see, see if we can play the, the, the clip Whoa. And of course, the missing of the OIS, <laughs> uh, no optical image stabilization. Do and will notice it or video. And of course, the missing. Uh, this is this is nice. This is of course a whole new, other level. But as we hear, the noise is not from the speaker, but from the recording. This is something I will have to to take a quicker, quicker look at. But you just saw how easy it is to just clip on the mods and uh, you use another pair of speakers, for example. So this is it. First impression of the device, nice. I, I, yes, performance, okay. Uh, build quality or picture quality or screen quality, camera, fingerprint sensor, looks, everything looks okay or fine. Only thing, now that we get a noisy sound while recording audio. So this is it, but thank you. <laughs> no, thank you, but this is it. <laughs> See you all in the next video, bye.